Hi traders, welcome to the Ken Tank, where you'll learn how to avoid getting eaten by the sharks on Wall Street. It's always all information for educational use only. I'm not making advice about what to buy, sell, or hold. Hello active traders, Ken Calhoun here. How many of you are preparing and planning for the upcoming crash or at least a correction in the stock market? Here's a one year chart of our S&P. It's gone all the way from 2000 to 2400 with no end in sight. And yet professional traders are always thinking about the other side of the trade. For example, what, how are you going to trade when there's a correction or a pullback or an outright crash in the stock market? That's what the topic of today's session is. How soon people forget. Back in 2008, we had a huge sell off. The market's going to sell off. It's just a matter of when. It may not be right now. It may not be the summer. It may not even be fall. Uh, or it may be next week. Let's take a look at a couple of good professional strategies designed to keep you on the right side of things if and when the stock market finally decides to sell off. Our first strategy is how to protect open profits. For example, I'm in a number of different positions in my long-term swing trading and position trading accounts, but I want to lock in a profit before the market sells off. How do we do that? Well, what I'm going to do in my own trading account is go to cash if the S&P loses the 50 simple moving average line on a 90-day daily candlestick chart, which right now is right under 2330. So if the market starts to drop underneath that, that's a good place to start taking profit or at least lightening up on open long positions. The second strategy and the one that I'm most keen on covering for you today is looking at how to trade the short or inverse or bear ETFs. Long ETFs or ETNs like the spiders, the SPY, on a one year you can see has been running up nicely. Same with the XIV which is our inverse VIX. That's been going up sharply as well. Uh, that's how you play a bull market, which hopefully you guys are trading this too, XIV to the upside and the spiders to the upside, especially XIV. But how do you trade professionally when the market starts to turn and drop? Well, the answer is to be found in our inverse ETFs. And we're going to take a look at a core strategy that you can use with multiple inverse ETFs. I've been trading these for years, since before the flash crash days. And one of the things that I have set in motion in my own capital trading accounts is buy stop orders above major moving averages for these inverse ETFs if and when they do start to bounce. So for example, here's SDS. It's our ProShares Ultra Short S&P. It goes up when the S&P drops, goes down when the S&P rises. As you can see here in a 90-day chart, the SDS has been going down steadily. So obviously we don't want to trade it yet because we never catch a falling knife. But I will start trading this if it gets over 14, over 14.80, and up here over 15.80. So this is the 50, the 100, and the 200 simple moving average lines. If and when these inverse ETFs climb back above those, that's where I'm going to start initiating new trades. And the reason is to capitalize on the huge upside potential in these. This is a long-term 10-year chart. This is back during the flash or during the crash of 2008. You can see uh, this was up split adjusted price up near 280, 300, as high as 400 a share. It's 400 a share now. So the upside potential in these is huge. Another favorite that I've traded for years is FAZ. That is our Direction Daily Financial Bear Triple. Now note of caution, the triples should be traded on shorter time frames. They're relatively dangerous or high risk instruments. So I will typically trade my inverse ETF triples uh, within a 30 day uh, in and out time frame. The, other ones I may trade as long as multiple months, but the triples tend to be more volatile and a bit more risky, so I use a shorter time horizon on those. Another one to consider is QID, and that is our ProShares Ultra Short Qs. And you can see here, it's gone from, on a 90 day, it's gone from 23 down to 19. On the longer term chart, you know, again, this is one that was split adjusted up over $1,000 a share now trading for 19 a share. So huge upside potential in these, though they do have a bit of risk involved. So I'll be looking for longs over, say 20.7, 22 and a half, 24 and a half, because these have so much upside potential if and when the market crashes. Trading our short ETFs, as I teach in my course, you can go to www.tradingshortetfs.com 
and that will forward you over to the page inside my trademastery.com website where you can buy the downloadable course it teaches how to trade these but in a nutshell this is at least a starting place to get you thinking about some of the inverses when they start to move the last one to cover is our VIX ETNs, my favorites, uh, VXX. Here's one all the way down at 16. I've never seen the VIX so low in my life. Look at that. 20 Split adjusted, 27,000 a share. Now on sale for the low price of just 16 a share. So again, I'm not going to get into these until they recover their moving averages. Uh, but VXX and UVXY are my two favorite ways to trade the uh, ultra this is the pro shares ultra vix and so anyway trading those instruments not yet because we never try to catch a falling knife or a dead cat bounce we want instead to see institutional buyers come in volume confirmation is helpful to use as well as looking at a breakout above each of the major moving averages and the final signal to look at for a stronger longer term chart would be a golden cross breakout so if and when uh, at some point, I'm sure when the market crashes, it will. The 50 uh, simple moving average crosses over the 200 simple moving average, comes back to life up there above that intersection would be a perfect institutional to consider going in on above a golden cross breakout. And you can see an article I wrote on golden crosses in Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities magazine that I published recently. Anyway, so do have a, at least I have a plan in place to scale in with buy stop orders above simple moving averages on the inverse ETFs because of their huge upside potential. So for more on this topic and how to look at a comprehensive approach to trading these inverse ETFs if and when the stock market crashes, right? The S&P still looks healthy. I don't see any problem with it. It's technically still in a uptrend continuation long, but if it does start to lose support, and does start to crash under its 50 uh, simple moving average line, you will start to see an accelerated move up in those inverse ETFs. And to trade those, you may want to take a look at my course at tradingshortetfs.com. Or for all of you who have ordered it, and so many of you have, go back and review some of the videos that you downloaded from the course and develop a trading plan that makes sense to serve you well if and when the stock market crashes sometime this year. Uh, we'll see whether it comes sooner or later it makes sense to have a plan in place. The first one is to exit or go to cash, of course, in any long-term position trades. If the market starts to lose support, uh, that's a defensive play to protect open profits or minimize stops if you're currently long. And also how to flip to the inverse ETF long positions to capitalize on upward price trajectory in those if and when the stock market does start to crash, which most professional traders are preparing for, kind of brace for the worst, uh, kind of batten down the hatches, the storm is coming, do you have a plan to trade it? Anyway, I'd certainly like to hear your comments. Feel free to post comments in the section below. Until next time, this is Ken Calhoun from TradeMastery.com wishing you all the best in your active trading efforts coming up in the upcoming months ahead. Be sure to join my subscribers at SwingScans.com and TradingOpen.com so you can see these types of alerts in each week's markets.